Well, for your first two seasons with Golden State, they didn't make it to the postseason. Right. The second year, they had a 30 and 52 record. Mm -hmm. So explain what happened because. Were you offered an $80 million deal with the Warriors at that <laughs> no. point? <laughs> no. That, <laughs> uh, I've been happy to answer that question for years. And uh, no, I never, never, was never offered $80 million from the Warriors um, at that time. Um, we were still in the contract negotiations with the Warriors when, uh, uh, when I got traded. So there was no offer that was anything um, uh, um, anything uh, substantial like that um, that they offered. So, no, I was never offered that much. I think the most they ever came to the table with maybe was 50 or 60 at that time. But um, I felt at the time that I was, you know, worth more and wanted to uh, try and see, play my hand and play my card somewhere else. Okay. So you get traded to the 76ers. Right. Now, Latrell Sprewell choking the coach. Did that happen after you left? <laughs> no, that, had, that, that was part of the blow up. I mean, because, you know, they felt they had to bring in new faces all around, all around from team wise to organization wise to coaching wise. So that was kind of part of the blow up, the start of the blow up. Um, so I was there. I witnessed that firsthand. And um, as a young guy, that's something. That sticks with you for a while. <laughs> right. Because Muggsy Bogues was on the team also. Yeah. Yeah. And I interviewed yes. him about this. He said that he was playing with him and everything seemed cool. And I guess the coach kept kept messing yeah. with Sprewell. And Sprewell just, just choked him right there in front of everybody. Okay. So you're actually Golden State when the whole choking thing happened with Sprewell? Yeah. Yeah. I was there. Just got there a week. I was only there a week. And then all this thing transpired, and we kind of, you know. Were you in the gym when that happened? Well, me and Spree was shooting. Me and Spree was on the other end shooting, doing that rap and fire drill. And uh, and where PJ came down and and told Priest to put something on the effing pass on Muggsy. And me and Spree just looked like, what was he, what was he talking about? <laughs> then he come back and then he's put a little explicit behind it, put something on the bucket pass me to Muggsy. And I guess Spree just had enough of it. And you know, then all of a sudden he just slammed up. Like, what the fuck are you talking? I'm tired of you fucking with me, or uh, effing with me. And, and then escalated from there. And then uh, but yeah, so yeah, I, I was there. I was there. Actually, it was uh we were doing shooting drills, so it was myself, Muggsy, and Spree at the same basket. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's exactly how it happened. But, I mean, it was, we were all just doing shooting drills, and um, I think PJ said something like, uh, "Spree, you're not going hard enough," or something like that. And Spree would reply like, "I'm going as hard as the passes are coming to me," and it was just built up from there. Right. I mean, Spreewell got suspended for 68 games. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was, I mean, uh, uh, Spree and I, we we're, were close. And, you know, it started back then. So uh, to see that and see a friend, not not a teammate, a friend, you know, go through something like that was uh, uh, was kind of, you know, let me know this is really a business. You know, this is not a sport. This is really a business. And they're going to do whatever they can to protect this business. And um, that's when I started realizing how much of a business it was. I mean, did you guys have a conversation after that where he tried to, explain what was going through his mind to do that because like I said I mean almost the entire season he got suspended yeah yeah and the thing about I mean we we talked briefly about it but it's something that I, I didn't want to you know continue to bring up with him but I mean the thing about it is Spree was having a a great season I mean I think of a couple games he went over 40 uh and we all I think we were maybe when it happened, I think we were maybe less than 10 games in, but he had a couple 40-point games. He had uh, a few 30-point games. Uh, he and I behind, he and I were behind Jordan and Pippen as far as his highest-scoring duo in the league at that time. And uh, we had something special going at that moment. So uh, when that happened, that kind of, that, that messed our team up, messed the chemistry up. And, 
you know, we couldn't get it back together from that point on.